Hello everyone. Welcome back to BTNX channel. Today we will be seeing Scenario Manager in Excel with the help of ChatGPT. Scenario Manager in Excel allows you to create and compare different scenarios for your data. This feature is particularly useful when you want to explore how changing certain values in your spreadsheet like sales figures, costs or interest rates affects the outcome of your calculations. Through this process, you can easily compare how different situations like whether increased or decreased sales will affect your net profit. So this tool is invaluable for financial modeling, budgeting and strategic planning. And it will help you to prepare for various potential future scenarios. Okay, so let's go to our sheet. If you are someone using Excel in your day-to-day -day job, let me tell you something, you are going to be replaced unless you are integrating AI in your Excel. If you integrate AI in your Excel workflow, let me tell you something, you are going to be 10x more productive and you, you will be getting that promotion that you deserve. If you want to learn all this, join me for my 2 hours workshop on Excel using AI. Okay, so it's a simple data. Okay, so we have only single row so that uh, it will be easily represented. Okay, so it will help us to understand easily. Okay, so sales forecast and the costs is there and net profit. The net profit will be this minus this. That is the net profit. Okay, and uh, so if we change these values, how it will affect the net profit. So it is going to give a forecasting. So we will be using chat GPT to understand this process. Okay. So I'll be taking chat GPT. Okay. So I have attached this Excel sheet. Okay. So I will give a prompt. Okay. Based on the above attachment. Based on the above attachment. Explain. Step by step as how to use use scenario scenario manager for a beginner. Imagine we are not aware okay, of what is scenario manager. It will give the tips, right? If we go to Excel and if we click the buttons, we may not aware what to do next. So we have attached the sheet and it will give the demo like step by step what has to be done. Okay, let's give. Let's wait. It's analyzing. Let's wait. Okay, so the Excel you have upload a title scenario manager contains a simple table with three columns sale forecast, costs, and net profit. Right, right. Sales forecast, cost, and net profit. And so here's a step by step how to use the scenario manager. Okay, so the understanding is if I change this value, I need to forecast what will be my profit if i reduce what will be my loss like that type of uh, details i should get okay so i'm going to open the it is the thing here's a step by step guide on how to use start opening by scenario manager thing in your cells we that you may want to create and the net profit is probably the calculated amount on this that is correct right because here only we have done the calculation and access go to the data tab Click on what if analysis and select scenario manager. Okay. So I'm going here. I'll be going to the I'm going to the data tab. Okay. Here is the, the sorry. Here is the data tab and what if analysis and the scenario manager. Okay. So then what it is telling our manager in the scenario manager, click add. Okay, give the scenario high sales forecast. Specify the changing cells. Okay, the cells in the for sales forecast and cost columns. Okay, so let I'm giving. So it's asking. I'm giving 
add okay and it is telling to give high sales forecast because now if it is a high sale forecast what will be the scenario okay so for that we are giving the name okay i'm just uh, copying and the sales will be what it is telling specify the changing sales the sales in the sales forecast and cut current cost columns okay okay so here i am going so i'll be going and i'll be choosing here and here okay so enter the values that it can change okay so since it is a high values right it has given already so i'll be giving like another that means this is the normal value guys okay and how it will be if it is if i have increased the values okay and here also i'll be increasing to five okay okay so if i give show so it has changed okay earlier it was different values now it has two and for example now i'm giving close okay and if i'm giving 30 here i'm giving 60 okay so it will be 24000 that's the thing okay that is the value now we will see uh, for the now we will see for the high value we have given. Now let's go for the low value. Okay. So the same part it is giving. Okay. Enter the values for instance. High say you might increase. Okay. Create multiple scenarios. Okay. And now we need to give for low sales forecast. Okay. So we have given the highest point. Now I am giving the low point, low value. How it will be if it is low? Again, I am going here. Going to scenario manager, add low sales. Okay, so here now the values I will be giving the same A2, B2. Okay, I'm giving now it will be low. Okay. So I'll be giving very less. Yeah, I'm will be giving compared to the thing I'm giving. Okay. So it is giving. So how it will be if it is? Okay. So this is the way. Okay. So I am closing closing it okay so i have changed it okay so earlier the original value was different now if i want to see the overall okay so that is the so so we have created for the multiple scenarios now once you've created we have already seen show okay okay once again i'm showing here it is once you have created multiple scenarios you can view them by selecting a scenario in the scenario manager and clicking show I have already done, but anyway, for a representation purpose, again, I'm showing. Okay, I'm going to this part, scenario manager. Okay. And I am giving show 15,000. Okay, it has come. And for the close thing, I show. So 10,000 it is. Okay, earlier, whatever I have done. Now I'm closing it. Now, what is giving? summary report okay this is the important thing okay you can get a generate a summary report by clicking summary in the scenario manager choose the type of report whether it want a scenario summary or pivot table report and we must select the cell net profit okay because based on here only we will come to know right whether the summary so it is giving let's go let's try okay i'm going here scenario manager i'm giving high sales forecast summary okay i'm giving scenario summary okay so this is the one guys the changes okay the changing cells a2 b2 because i have given the two values okay current values it was this much 
okay current values the highly forecasted values are this okay low sales forecast is this okay and the resultant sales for this how, how much it was for this how much it was for this how much it was okay this is very important okay because there's a the summary report helps to gauge what will be the highest sales report like that similarly again i'm going here okay and uh, what if analysis scenario manager i'm giving low sales forecast i'm giving the summary okay still i need this this is summary too so this is for the high thing this is for the low thing okay and uh, this is the way you can use pivot table also okay Now, let's see, because it has increased summary. Yeah, now it has, we can see the changes. Low sales forecast, how much it was. Okay. Same way if we give for, again, I'm giving the summary, but I'm going for pivot table. This is the one, okay. Like uh, 15,000 was the thing, and low sell, sell for forecast is earlier we have seen right that. Okay, so this is the way, guys. Okay, so it is simple. Since I have given only uh, one row just for understanding purpose, you got this. Okay, you can try with a set of values and uh, you can come to know much more. Okay, as I said earlier, this is mainly helping for the forecasting process like uh, means uh, like whether it has increased or decreased and uh, what was your affected uh, net profit and for financial modeling budgeting strategic planning this will be definitely it will help okay so i hope you liked the session guys take care bye bye see you again